Last year, Google re-established its commitment to the flagship space with the release of Pixel 6 series, a duo of phones that put the focus on software features and overall user experience instead of purely relying on flagship-grade specs and raw power. The Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro were generally received well, despite multiple reports of bugs and issues that acted as the proverbial ointment in the soup. So it befalls upon the Pixel 7 and Pixel 7 Pro to showcase Google's commitment to their tensor-fueled flagship efforts. The new Pixel 7 is, for all intents and purposes, whatever the Pixel 6 should have been from the get-go a more compact and manageable device, which still puts forth the overall user experience instead of betting on raw power. Google's new darling also comes with an improved camera, battery life, and refreshed design, which all jive well in direct comparison with the Pixel 6. Google Pixel 7 Models Aside from the Pixel 7, Google has another Pixel in the lineup, the Pixel 7 Pro, which differentiates itself with an additional camera, larger display, and battery as well as a slew of exclusive software features. Aside from that, it's got the same Pixel 7 DNA. Google was also rumored to be teasing a foldable Pixel during the announcement event, but those expectations did not materialize. Google Pixel 7 Design and Colors Building on the design language established by the Pixel 6 series, which we absolutely love, Google addressed the Pixel 7 design in a logical way. Then as the dual-tone design of the Pixel 6 series, which had the bottom and top sections of the rear colored in two slightly different color hues. Instead of that, the new Pixel 7 uses a single color for its glass back, separated by a polished aluminum camera bar in a complementary color. Speaking of colors, the Pixel 7 colors have been revealed to be black, white, and an interesting new lemongrass color. All look great. The new camera strip at the back seamlessly connects with the aluminum frame of the phone for one uninterrupted design element that looks and feels great to handle and use. The slightly curved frame and glass sloping towards the rear makes the Pixel 7 a very comfortable phone for the palm of your hand, and this makes it feel even more compact than it actually is. As a direct comparison, a device like the iPhone 13 or iPhone 14 has a more prominent edge and isn't as pleasant to use. And in direct comparison with the Pixel 6, the Pixel 7 not only is a more compact phone, it certainly feels like one. Handling it is a joy and surprise. Surprise, you can even use it with a single hand. It's slightly more slippery than what I'd love to see. Definitely calling for a protective case to enhance the grip. Another important change relates to the overall size of the Pixel 7, especially in comparison with the older Google Pixel 6. The small phone is just a smidgen narrower, thinner, and shorter than its predecessor. This certainly makes it a more compact handset, and it's safe to say that we are in a dire need of compact phones in the Android space. Yes, these days 6.3 inches almost passes as compact. In comparison with another rather popular phone, the iPhone 13. The Pixel 7 is taller and slightly wider, but also thicker and heavier. Google Pixel 7 Display The 6.3-inch OLED display on the Pixel 7 has a resolution of 1080 by 2400 pixels and comes with the same 60 to 90 HD refresh rate as the Pixel 6. The display is completely flat, which is definitely appreciated, and everything appears crisp despite the not-so-impressive resolution. Google Pixel 7 Camera Similarly to the Pixel 6 series, the Google Pixel 7 relies on a dual camera setup, consisting of a 50MP1 1.3-inch wide camera with an f1.85 aperture, an ever-so-slight update over the Pixel 6's f1.9, and an ultra-wide 12MP camera that has an f2.2 aperture, but still a narrower 114-degree field of view in comparison with the Pixel 7 Pro and image quality. As we mentioned before, the ultra-wide camera is still too narrow for our tastes. Offering a 114-degree field of view, it's just a smidgen wider than the regular wide camera, but the latter is much more capable in any situation. So if possible, I'd usually recommend just stepping back and taking a shot with a regular 50MP shooter. Pixel 7 Ultra-Wide VS Wide-Angle Camera VS2 In broad daylight or when sufficient light is present, the Pixel 7 takes really nice shots, with good detail and great dynamics. The Pixel look we've come to love over the years, known for its grittier realistic colors and overall feel mixed up with a slightly enhanced contrast, is certainly present on the Pixel 7. We love that! The video stabilization, sharpness, and amount of detail are very good, 
with only the continuous autofocus mode taking a split second to react as opposed to the instantaneous refocusing back. And fourth, we are used to from Samsung phones. Google Pixel 7 OS Android version soft. The Pixel 7 comes forth with the latest episode in the Android Saga Android 13. This one comes with visual improvements that enhance the material you design language, themed icons, multilingual app support, clipboard editor, dynamic spatial audio, more privacy and security options, and more. Google Pixel 7 Battery The Pixel 7 comes with a 4,355 mAh battery on deck, notably smaller than the Pixel 6's 4,614 mAh unit on the Phone Arena browsing battery test which involves automated web surfing and scrolling over a Wi-Fi network at 200 nits of preset screen brightness. The Pixel 7 fares comparably to the Pixel 6 and Pixel 6a, two first-gen sensor devices, but gets dusted by both the Galaxy S22 and the iPhone 14, two very close. Google Pixel 7 audio quality and haptics, with dual stereo speakers on both. The Pixel 7 produces loud and clean but not very meaty sound. While that's not inherently bad, the phone certainly lacks some definition in the bass and gives off a more trebly sound. In no way is this an issue, make no mistake. Google Pixel 7 Competitors The Pixel 7 is definitely punching blows with both the Galaxy S22 and iPhone 14, given that the trio is mostly in the same price segment, and they now essentially act as their respective company's compact models. The Galaxy S22 comes with an extra telephoto camera, and a completely different take on the Android. Overview The Pixel 7 is, by all means, an excellent compact Android phone. What it lacks in terms of performance, it makes up in terms of smarts and user experience. It's a great compact Android phone, a breath of fresh air from your average smartphone that's pushing 6.7 inches in size. The Pixel 7 is a no-frills device. It's the phone you'd recommend to someone who's not awed by the latest cutting-edge tech and doesn't really know what a synthetic benchmark is, but would rather have a compact device that looks and feels good, and also offers very good user experience. Despite a few slight interface issues with the camera and somewhat uninspiring battery life during gaming, the Pixel 7 is a great compact phone that is really enjoyable to use. While the Pixel 7 Pro is definitely a much better phone, with a sharper, larger, and even smoother display, an extra 5x telephoto camera, and better battery life, the Pixel 7 is more affordable and basically offers 90% of the same Pixel experience. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.